Hey, what's up guys, Nick here back with another quick iOS tip that could totally save your day. So iOS 26 is finally out, and like many of you I updated right away. At first it felt exciting but soon I noticed the battery draining faster and apps freezing more than usual. Honestly it just doesn't feel as smooth as iOS 18. If you're in the same boat and want to roll back, let me show you how to download the IPSW file and safely downgrade from iOS 26 to iOS 18 without losing your data. Step by step, easy to follow. First things first, make sure you turn off Find My iPhone. Open the Settings app. Tap your Apple ID, select Find My, and turn it off. This is crucial because if Find My is still on, you could get stuck on activation lock during the downgrade. Next, let's talk about backing up your data. Downgrading will erase everything on your phone, so this step is non-negotiable. If you've got plenty of iCloud space or iCloud Plus, I highly recommend doing a quick iCloud backup. That way, even if something goes wrong, all your photos, chats, and contacts are safely stored in the cloud. Now let's cover the finder method first. This is the more manual route, and I'll be honest, it's a bit more involved and can be tricky if you're not careful, but it works fine once you know the steps. Start by making a full backup of your iPhone in Finder while you're still on iOS 26. This is your safety net. Once the backup is done, go to ipsw.me and download the firmware for your exact iPhone model. When the download is finished, toe back to Finder, select your iPhone in the sidebar, hold down the Option key or Shift key and click Restore iPhone, then pick the IPSW file you just downloaded. Finder will start the downgrade process and your phone will restart back on iOS 18. Here's an important detail. If your backup was made while on iOS 26, Finder may refuse to restore it directly to iOS 18. You don't need this tweak when restoring with Reiboot, but for the Finder route you'll need to edit the backup metadata. On your Mac, open a Finder window, then go to Application Support, then Mobile Sync, and finally Backup, open the newest folder in that directory. Inside, locate a file called info.playtex and open it with TextEdit. Press Command plus F, search for product version, and change the version number from 26 to 18.5. Save the file. Once that's done, go back to Finder, click Restore Backup, and select the backup you just modified. Finder will restore your iPhone with all your data intact. After it finishes and your phone restarts, your apps, photos, messages, and everything else should be just like before. If the manual Finder route feels like too much, there's an easier, more user-friendly option, Reiboot. Now for the easiest method I usually go with, Reiboot. Plug your iPhone into your computer and open Reiboot. Use it to back up your device first. This backup covers all your essentials like photos, contacts, and chats. Once the backup is done, you can hit the download button. Select iOS 18.5 as your target firmware and let Reiboot handle the process. Your phone will restart in just a few minutes and after that you can restore your backup either from iCloud or from Reiboot itself. Click Backup or Restore, tap on Data Restore, select the file you backed up and then restore. Everything comes back safely just like before. And that's it! Whether you use Reiboot or the Finder method, you can safely go back to iOS 18 and keep all your stuff intact. If this helped you out, smash that like button, subscribe for more tips, and I'll catch you in the next one.